Hello all, Shoestring here. I'm going to finish up the review I was doing on this Harbor Freight Jupiter Pure Sine Wave 1000 Watt Inverter. I had done an unboxing and showed it to you, but I really wanted to do some testing before I actually told you what I thought of it, because till I do that, I don't know. I have it connected. Now, as most of you know, if you've watched my videos before, and I hope you have, and if you do, of course, like and subscribe and toss all that little bell stuff and all that out there, but I don't tear my equipment apart. I don't tear the batteries apart. I don't tear the inverters apart, and I don't show you all kinds of fancy diagnostic equipment. I have them, but I don't really use it. I show people how I really use equipment so you can look at it and see if it's good for you. So that being said, let's start out with some basic facts. It says it's a pure sine wave. I did test it all the way up to its full capability, and it does stay a good sine wave. So it is very good sine wave. I've had it up to 998 watts just about its thousand and I let it run for a couple hours and it did just fine. As you know, I normally don't take equipment more than 80-85% of what they say because I like to keep it safe and I like my equipment to keep working. I turn it off when I don't need it. That's another thing with this one. I keep it here at this computer because when the power goes out, I want it to have a pure sine wave and I have the computer and the monitor and the speakers and all that other kind of good stuff. Printers when I need to, cameras, that type of stuff, webcams, when necessary. It gets average, I don't know, 3, 350 watts, and it runs it really well. I run it about 12, 15 hours a day, then I turn it off. So if you need something that's going to run 24 hours a day all the time, I'm really not, can't say for sure this would do it. It appears it would but I'm not going to put my money on it. But so far, it's been running really well. I'm going to disconnect the alligator clamps, and I'm going to put them on uh, something much more solid, rain clamps. So it looks like I'm going to keep this set up for a while. I do have a 8,000-watt uh, inverter that runs the house, but... It's not a pure sine wave, so I don't really want it to run sensitive equipment like this. So, yes, this is a pure sine wave. No, Harbor Freight didn't send it to me. I hook it up to my computer, and so far, like I said, it's been running really, really well. It meets its capabilities. It says it's a 1,000 watts, and it is a 1,000 watts. It will run it, and it will run it for a couple hours which I always like to check while I'm doing this. And like I said, it is a pure sine wave. Let you see the connections down here. When I first started it, I didn't realize what type of uh, plug-in I had. So the red light startled me for a moment till I realized it's supposed to do that. And you've got two little buttons there to uh, turn each plug-in off and on, which is pretty cool. One downside, I have to admit, one real downside. It's really, really loud when the fan comes on. Now, if you have it outside somewhere or in a different room in a shed or garage, it probably won't matter. But if you're going to have it in the house, then be prepared for it to be quite loud. It's louder than any of the other inverters I have. So that's a downside. If sound is a concern to you, then you should know that. So I have this plugged in, connected actually, I should say, it's not plugged in, to a 100 amp hour lithium battery. Uh, just one of the little cheap ones. Not very expensive. This is like 289 299 something like that. Anyway, it is really cheap. But it works really well. Anyway, that's the real quick update in case anyone saw the unboxing in was wondering my opinion. Yes, it is a thousand watts. Yes, it is a pure sine wave. And yes, it will run really well. Has for me so far. Just remember the noise. If the noise is a consideration, then you probably want to look for something a little different. Okay, so if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. And 
Of course, like and subscribe, hit that little bell. Send this to any friends you might have that may like this. And shoestring out.